let's talk about the crazy horse. Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about the crazy horse, but first let me show you my class. So I have the M14 crazy horse, I have the pistol M191181 and the katana, obviously all of them are from the Jakusa pack. Uh, these are the stats of the sniper and this is compared to the international. So you can have an idea. So now, let's go to the game. So we're here in the game. So first of all, I want to talk about the different versions of the Crazy Horse. Because in the Nintendo Switch, there is three at the moment. Um, there is the Yakuza version. There is the one that I'm using right now. And if you don't know where is the Yakuza pack, uh, you can check my video. I highly recommend you to go and watch it so you can see what the Yakuza pack gives you and how the weapons looks in the Yakuza pack and other information that I give in that video and it's right here um, also there is the absolute power version that is from the battle pass the actual battle pass that we have right now and there is the default one if I have clips I will put them in the video and also I forgot to say it in the video, but there is another version of the sniper that is not currently in the Switch, but is the Crazy Horse Gold version and probably will be later in the game. Go back to the video. I uh, hear how the bullet connect, but apparently not. And so yeah. So as you can see the weapon is really good. It's broken sometimes. When you have a good connection, it's broken. And sometimes when the enemy have good armor like you see there, you cannot kill them, kill them one shot. But normally you kill them one shot. Oh, I'm lagging. Um, but like I say, sometimes I really like this sniper. Other times I don't really like it. And something that happens a lot with the crazy horse is that I notice that when I'm playing more with the sniper my aim gets worse and worse so I need to stop using it because my aim gets really bad and I can shoot anything and kill any enemies but taking that off it's a really good weapon and really fun to play with honestly but I think that because they put it in the battle pass, probably now more people are gonna have it and it will be more hard to enjoy the weapon because all the people are gonna have it and all the people are gonna be try harding with this weapon. I just play for fun with this weapon. Sometimes when the enemy have a lot of sets, it's really useful. But like I say, it depends all of your connection. If you have a good ping, you're gonna kill a lot with this gun. But if you have a bad ping, probably you're gonna have a hard time using it. So, in my opinion, 
it's worth it if you gonna if you like for example if you like all the skins from the Yakuza pack it's really worth it to buy it because it's a really OP weapon and it's more worth it to play games to unlock everything in the battle pass and unlock this gun just for ten dollars so and if you want me to make a video about the battle pass let me know so I can make it but I think that's all in this video uh, I almost knife him so yeah if you like the video please subscribe give me a like and share the video with your friends also, if you have any ideas for future content or if you want me to review another weapon, please leave me in the section below your, your ideas and I will do it in the next video. Also, if, if you want to be in the next episode of Random Moments in Warface, I highly recommend you to send me your clips at my Twitter or my Discord. Links in the description. I'm Nevermind and see you in the next one.